Сегодня мое короткое слово. Today my short word. Ну, конечно же, о благодарности. Of course, it's about thanksgiving. Возвышенное благодарение. Thanksgiving exalted or exalted thanksgiving. То есть это высокое благодарение. That means it's a, it's a thanksgiving that is higher. Самое высокое благодарение. The greatest thanksgiving. Как мы можем по-настоящему воздать Богу высокое благодарение? How can we truly express our thanksgiving to God in a greater way? Мы откроем послание евреям 13 главу. We're going to open up the, bo the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. И если в вашей Библии нет с собой, And if you don't have your Bibles, посмотрите на экран и прочитаем вместе. Look at the screen and we can read all together. Апостол Павел учит нас. Apostle Paul teaches us. Итак, будем через него. Therefore, by him, let us continually Через него. By him or through him. Послушайте, не, listen. Не через свой разум. Not through our mind. Не через свое сердце. Not through our heart. Не через музыкальные орудия. Not through musical instruments. Хотя все это необходимо. Even though these things are necessities. Но возвышенное благодарение отца. But an exalted praise of the Father. Оно приходит только It comes only through через Иисуса Христа. Jesus Christ. Когда Иисус Христос When Jesus Christ является центром и причиной хвалы Богу, is the center and the reason of our praise to God. Эта хвала становится возвышенной. That praise becomes elevated. Итак, будем через Него so let us through him непрестанно приносить Богу жертву хвалы. Continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. То есть плод уст that is the fruit of our lips прославляющих Его имя. Giving thanks to His name. Через Него through Him Отцу to the Father Приносить жертву хвалы. Bring the sacrifice of praise. Еврейский перевод говорит так. Hebrew translation says, Through him, через него, therefore let us offer God a sacrifice of praise continually. Будем приносить нашу хвалу Богу постоянно. И кто-то из нас может подумать, And some of us can think, это же мой выбор или не выбор? That's my choice, right? Or is it not? Я могу славить, а могу нет. I can praise or I don't have to praise. Но этот еврейский перевод but продолжает и говорит. Hebrew translation continues to say. For this is потому что это the natural product. Натуральный продукт. Of lips that acknowledge his name. Натуральный продукт наших уст, которые говорят о его имени. Это естественно. It is natural. Когда Иисус занимает центр нашей жизни. When Jesus takes us, takes the center of our life. И он принёс нам дар. And he brought a gift. Дар любви. The gift of love. Дар прощения. The gift of forgiveness. Дар спасения. The gift of salvation. Это становится естественным. It becomes natural. Благодарить отца. To thank the Father. Когда кто-то приходит к нам на день рождения. When someone comes to us on our birthday. И он сделал нам необычный подарок. And they made a special present. Необычный подарок. A special present. Это становится естественно. It becomes natural. Естественно сказать. It becomes wow! natural to say, "Wow!" Спасибо. Thank you so much. Благодарю. I thank you. Это то, о чем я мечтал. That's what I was dreaming of. И вы знаете точно так в нашей жизни. In the same way, it's in our life. Приносить плод Богу. To bring a fruit to God. Плод благодарения. A fruit of our thanksgiving. Для этого не нужны. You don't need to be talented to do that. You don't need gifts. You don't need to be artistic. And you don't even need to preach. To bring to God a sacrifice of praise, it is a natural life of a Christian to worship Him, to give Him the praise with your heart, with your soul. And Apostle Paul says, says, Устами. with your lips. Устами. With your lips. Это естественно. It is natural. И когда оно приходит в нашу жизнь, and when it comes into our life, когда Иисус становится центром нашей жизни, is when жизни. Jesus takes the center of our life. Хочу сегодня оставить со всеми нами. Today I want us to remain with this. Три основных слова. Three words. Первое слово Иисус. First word is Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Come on, say it one more time. Say it loud. 
Thank you so much. Word number two. Consistent. 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 Last time. And third word. Quantity. Quantity. Say it again. And last time. Quantity. Thank you. So three words. Jesus. Consistency. And quantity. So Jesus is the center. Jesus is our reason, the single reason of our praise to God. And as I said, we thank God for everything. Lord, thank you for my good husband. Thank you for my wonderful wife. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for the government. Thank you for the new president. And this is all good. But true, elevated, higher praise is when we say, God, I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for the finances. But one day, everything will cease to end, cease to exist. But when we say, Father, I thank you for Jesus Christ that has found me, that has saved me, that has forgiven me and keeps Forgetting, when I fall, he lifts me back up. He believes in me. He loves me. He has given me eternity. I thank you, Father, for Jesus. For the fullness that comes with Jesus. And when we say, Father, I want to be more and more like Jesus Christ. This is the kind of praise that is pleasing to God the most. Let us through him, through Jesus, or because of Jesus, for the reason of Jesus, bring to God the sacrifice. Jesus is the capstone. Jesus is the reason of our praise. And when Jesus is our foundation, when when everything else acts in accordance with us. It helps us praise the Father. When there is the right atmosphere, when there is music, when there are microphones, when there is beauty, when there is harmony, it helps us praise God. But the backbone of praise is not the atmosphere. It is not music. It is not beautiful accords. The center of praise is Jesus Christ himself. His sacrifice upon Golgotha. This is who he is to all humanity. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. And he always will be the Lord. And when Jesus is in your life, and he is your master, and he is your savior, wherever you would be, regardless of what church you're in, regardless what country you live in, as soon as someone starts praising Jesus, you understand Jesus doesn't have a twin. That means they're praising your Jesus. That means they're praising your Jesus. And you become the, 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 the instrument of praise in the church. That's why you can praise God. In a Russian-speaking church. Hispanic church. English-speaking church. Ukrainian church. Because the center is not the church. Jesus Christ is. 
Иисус Христос! Иисус Христос! Скажи ему наше громкое аллилуйя! Аллилуйя to him! Аллилуйя Иисус! Принесем ему жертву Come on, bring him an offering of praise! Принесем ему жертву Bring him an offering of praise! Слово Божье говорит. The word of God says. Итак, будем через него. So let us through him. Непрестанно. Continually. Непрестанно. Continually in Russian it says without stopping. Непрестанно приносить хвалу. Without stopping to bring him praise. Вы знаете, очень важно постоянство. It's important to be consistent. И то, что я сейчас скажу. In what I'm about to say. Оно весьма важно. It's very important. Бог Много, много, много поощряет постоянство. God encourages a lot as far as consistency goes. And when we're talking about consistency, the Bible says all the time, pray without ceasing. That means be continually in prayer. Be continually in love. Be continually in your giving. Why is God encouraging consistency? And we can have this thought. If I'm going to constantly, constantly, constantly do something, constantly praise, constantly pray, I think God will change. Now pay attention. Consistency does not influence God. Our consistency does not change. God. Because God, as Jesus, yesterday is today and forever the same. But why do we need consistency? Because when we do something continually, His presence, consistency changes us. Everything that we do once, everything that we do temporarily, everything that we do according to our mood. It says that we are not firm in our position. But consistency says that our position doesn't change. That it's not shaken. That's why the Bible says so let us through him continually all the time bring to God the sacrifice of praise. When you and I are constantly praising God. We are praising God. Not when we feel like it. Not when there's good music. But when we praise God all the time. God says all of the angels all of the saints can, can you guys look at this individual? Look at him. He's praising me in the morning. He's praising me during the day. He's praising me when he's hungry. When hungry. And he's praising me. Look at him. He's praising me all the time. It's a sign and, and he's showing that he loves me. Because he praises me all the time. And when we praise God, all the time, the presence of God comes into our lives. We become different people. And the atmosphere changes. Because only when we are consistent in something, only then people pay attention to us. Because consistency, it always brings change. I'm going to say it again. Consistency of our praise to God and opens up the doors to, to spiritual change. And I want us to pay attention to Daniel. Daniel was a great prophet. He prophesied about Jesus. And one of the qualities of David is that he was constant in his praise to God. And the Word of God tells us Книга пророка Даниила, шестая глава, десятый стих. Daniel chapter six verse ten. Даниил же узнав, что подписан указ, 
запрещающий славить Бога. Now when Daniel knew that there was a writing or a law signed, вышел в стране закон. There was a law in the land. В течение 30 дней, in the next 30 days, никто не может молиться никому, никакому Богу. No one can pray to anyone whatsoever. Кроме царя. For the exception of the king. И заметьте. And notice. Daniel узнал. Daniel knew about it. О, новый закон. Oh, there is a new law. Закон запрещающий молиться. The law that forbids me to pray. Закон запрещающий прославлять Бога. The law Бога. that forbids me to praise God. О, этот закон говорит. This law says. Если будешь молиться. If you will pray. И прославлять Бога. And praise God. То тебя просто казнят. You will be dead. Executed. Ты <laughs> умрёшь. You will die. И многие умные говорили. And a lot of wise people. В кавычках умные. Quote unquote wise. Потерпи 30 дней. Wait 30 days. Не ходи в церковь 30 Don't дней. Don't go to church for 30 days. Не молись 30 дней. Don't pray for 30 days. И не слава Бога 30 дней. And don't praise God for 30 days. Потерпи. Wait. И будет всё хорошо. And everything will be fine. Но Даниил. But Daniel. Он узнал, что вышел такой закон. He found out about the law. Писание говорит, пошёл в дом Свой. Bible says he went home. И заметьте, что он сделал. Notice what he did. Окна, окна в его горнице были открыты против Иерусалима. And in his upper room, he had the windows open towards Jerusalem. He was not in hiding. Окна были открыты против Иерусалима. The windows were open towards Jerusalem. И он три раза в день. And three times a day. Скажем три раза в день. Everybody say three times a day. Еще раз три раза в день. One more time, three times a day. Последний раз три раза в день. Преклонял колени. He knelt down. Молился своему Богу. And prayed to his God. И славословил его. And praised him. Как это делал он и прежде того. Was his custom. Заметьте, это не было только 30 дней. It was not just for 30 days. Даниил делал так всегда. Daniel did it all the time. И я подумал. And I thought. Мы часто говорим. Very often we say. О, этот человек помазанный. This person is so anointed. О, близость Божья oh, с этим человеком. The closeness of God is with this man. О, Господь открывает ему свои тайны. The Lord is revealing to him the depth and Но his secrets. Но я хочу сказать. But I want to tell you. Даниил. Daniel. Он прославлял Бога. He praised God. Кам слово прославлял Бога. Everyone say praised God. Постоянно. All the time. Он прославлял Бога постоянно. He praised God all the time. Сегодня говорят, о, есть харизматическое движение. They say there's a charismatic movement. Которое имеет прославление Бога. That has praise to God. А я хочу сказать. I want to tell you. Нынешнее наше христианство. Our Christianity, the modern Christianity. Наше сегодняшнее христианство прославляет Бога в 21 раз меньше, нежели Даниил. 20 times, 21 times less than Daniel. У нас одно прославление в неделю. We have one praise a week session, session praise. А у Даниила было три прославления в день. Daniel had three times, three sessions of praise. Uh, each day, a day, yes. Three times seven days is 21 praises, praise sessions a week. No wonder that God called Daniel a, a man of desire. Because he praised God 21 times a week. We say 30 minutes a week. I'm tired of standing. How long can we praise? Apostle Paul said, so let us through him continually offer the sacrifice Apostle Paul wanted for us to praise God. Больше, нежели пророк Даниил. More than Daniel. Больше, нежели Даниил. More than Daniel. Вы со мной. Are you with me? Как важно полюбить How Отца. How important it is to love полюбить God. Иисуса Христа. Love Jesus Christ. И полюбить прославление. And love, praise. И славить Его. И славить and Его. And praise Him. И превозносить Его. And to exalt Him. И дальше Писание говорит. Then the Bible says. Будем непрестанно приносить ему хвалу. Let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise. Непрестанно. Continually. И вы знаете, когда ты делаешь что-то весьма долго. When you do something for a long time. Тебе приходит мысль. You have a thought. Мне приходит мысль. I have a thought. А может уже достаточно? Maybe it's quite enough. Может уже достаточно? Maybe that's enough. 
Может, давай остановимся. Maybe we should stop. И я хочу сказать номер три. And I want to tell you number three. И это последнее. And that's the last. Количество. Quantity. Прославление Бога. To, uh, the, the praise to God. Слишком много не бывает. Oh, there is no such thing as a lot of praise to God. Прославление Бога. Слишком много не бывает. No such thing as a lot of praise to God. Прославление Бога. A lot of praise to God. Слишком много не бывает. Doesn't exist. Не бывает слишком много. It doesn't много. exist. Ой, я так много славил Oh, Бога. I praise God so much. Но не бывает много. That's not possible. Славы. There's not enough praise. Вы скажете, почему? You can say why. Потому что когда мы много приносим Богу хвалы. Because when we bring God a lot of praise. Что происходит? What happens then? Приходит много Божьего присутствия a в нашу жизнь. A lot of жизнь. the presence of God comes into our life. Потому что Господь приходит туда. Because God comes. Где Его славят. To the place where He's praised. Третья книга царств. Третья глава. First book of Kings, chapter three. Третья книга Царств, третья глава. First book of Kings, chapter three. С четвертого стиха Писания говорит. Verse four it says. И пошел царь, это царь Соломон. Now this is uh, the uh, King Solomon. Пошел царь в Гавон, чтобы принести там жертву. Now the king went to Gibeon to bring a sacrifice. Ибо там был главный жертвенник. For there was the great high place. Вы знаете, главный жертвенник. The great high place. Это прообраз церкви. Represents a church. Мы можем приносить Богу жертву хвалы на всяком месте. We can bring the praise to God anywhere. Но раз в неделю. But once a week. Мы приходим в дом Божий. We come into the the the, the place, excuse me, the house of God. Где главный жертвенник? Where there is the main altar of sacrifice, the greatest high place to bring God the praise of our lips. And we have no right to be late to be, uh, to be late to church. Those that are late are late for the praising of God. We should come on time. We should come ahead of time. Prepare our hearts. Prepare our minds to honor our Father through Jesus Christ with the sacrifice of our lips. You can say, I praise my God with my finances. Yes and amen. Thank you so much. We should do that. You can say, I praise my God when I serve Him throughout the week. Yes and amen. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. But Apostle Paul Said, Помимо всего доброго, что мы делаем, good, будем ему непрестанно приносить жертву хвалы. Let us continually offer the praise. То есть плод уст. This is the fruit of our lips. Плод уст. The fruit of our lips. И во время поклонения. And during praise and worship, мы можем говорить. We can say, Отец, я люблю тебя. Father, I love you. Во время прославления. During praise, разрешается каждому быть частью группы прославления. Everyone is allowed to be a part of the worship team. И Писание говорит. And the scripture says. Что Соломон пришел в Гавон? Соломон came to Gibeon. Потому что там был главный жертвенник. Because there was the great high place. И заметьте. And notice. Соломон говорит. Соломон says. Сегодня. Tonight. Необычная жертва. Today I'm gonna have a special offering. Необычная. A special offering. Какая? What kind of offering? Тысячу. A thousand. Все сожжения. A thousand burned offerings. Тысячу. A thousand. Все сожжения. Burned offerings. Скам тысячу. Everyone say a thousand burned offerings. Еще раз все тысячи. Say it again. A thousand burned offerings. Я хочу, чтобы все говорили. I want everyone to say, Alex, say a thousand burned offerings. Спасибо, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. A thousand burned offerings. Почему я хочу, чтобы мы обратили внимание слова на тысячу? Why do I want us to pay attention to this? Потому что тысяча. Because a thousand. Это много. Is a lot. Это много. Is a lot. Сейчас у нас в зале сидит. We have the people in the building. Вместе с детьми. Along with the children. Двести восемьдесят человек. There's two hundred and eighty people sitting here. А это this is four times greater of animals. And Solomon says, this, this is the amount that I want to bring to God. A lot. I want to bring to God a lot. A lot. There is not, uh, or a lot of praise to God doesn't exist. 
a lot. And he brought to God a lot. And I can imagine it. There's probably a few thousand people that are helping Solomon bring these offerings. People that killed the animals. People that skinned the animals. People that had to bring the wood. Solomon, Solomon right at that time, he stood and he said, said, Worthy, достой, worthy, достой, worthy, достой, worthy. Father Almighty the creator of the universe is worthy I don't know how many hours it took maybe it was the whole day and Solomon stood there and he said worthy worthy and maybe towards the evening everyone said why so much waste why so much offering why does God need so much praise? We are not experiencing anything. We're just tired. Our feet are hurting. Our hands are hurting. Our voice is tired. And Solomon said, God never skips or ignores an offering. And offering always brings the presence. People may have said, where is it at? Where is the presence? But the scripture says that that same night, that same night, that, same night, that very same night, when Solomon brought a thousand and burned offerings. Писание говорит, явился Господь Соломону. Это третья глава, четвертый, пятый стих. This is verses four and five. Явился Господь Соломону. The Lord showed Himself to Solomon. And God said, When did He say it? Когда Божье присутствие пришло. When the presence of God came. Когда принесена была жертва тысячу thousand burned offerings were brought. И Бог сказал, And God said, Проси. Ask. Ask what you shall. Ask what you shall and I'll give it to you. In other words, I'm finishing here. God said, Solomon, Solomon I knew that you love me. I knew that you, you're praising me. I knew that you're bringing me an offering. But today, you brought so much praise Ты сегодня принес столько много усилий. You brought so much effort. Ты сегодня принес столько много благодарения мне. You brought so much thanksgiving to me. Ты расположил you, мое сердце количество. Have leaned my heart towards you with the quantity. Ты столько много принес. You brought so much. Что твоя жертва, она изменила мое сердце. That your offering changed my heart. И сегодня открываю небо. And today I'm opening up the heavens. Я открываю благословение. I'm opening up the blessings. Соломон. Соломон. Проси. Ask. Проси что угодно. Ask what you want. Проси что угодно. Ask anything you want. Я дам тебе. I'll give it to you. Хочешь еще раз тысячу назад животных? You want another thousand? Десять тысяч? Ten thousand? Или сто тысяч? A hundred thousand? Тебе нужно золото или серебро? You want gold or silver? Что ты хочешь? What do you want? Проси. Ask me. Я всемогущий Бог. I am Almighty God. Я дам тебе. I'll give it to you. Потому что твоя жертва. Because your offering. Она коснулась меня. It touched me. Не бывает слишком много жертвы. A lot of praise doesn't exist. Where there is a lot of offering to God. There is a lot of His presence there. Very often we say, Lord, where are you? Where are you? Where is your anointing? Where is your presence? Where is your power? Where are your miracles? Where are your healings? Start from the, from the praise. Of, start from your exaltation of God. And don't stop. Start praising God because of Jesus. Not because 
because of your need, rather because of Jesus. When you go to the house of God, start praising the Father because of Jesus. Don't wait for the service to start even. Don't even wait for the invitation. Start praising the Father willingly. As soon as you enter, say, Father, I thank you that I came into your house where there is the greater place of sacrifice. Thank you that today I'm saved, that today I'm washed, that today I am blessed. Father, I thank you that my eyes see the people, my friends, that you have given me a church. Father, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that I'll be with you for eternity. I'll be always yours. And we're praising. Someone will say, what are you talking about? You say, I'm talking about Jesus. Because this is the time. Not about me. This time is not about me. This time is not because of me. This time, these two hours is because of Jesus. To praise my Father. Someone will say, for real though, truly, I didn't even think about it. Your fire, your praise, it's encouraging me to praise Jesus too. And now there's two of you. Now you're walking around the church and you're praising Jesus. You're praising Jesus. And someone will think, oh, he did it one time. He probably won the lotto or something. Don't, don't be afraid to give a tithe from your winnings. And someone will think, I will look at him next Sunday when he's no longer going to win the lottery and when he's going to have a flat tire. Oh, Lord forbid. But just in case. But you came and the next Sunday you're walking around and you're saying Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. He's King. And I will always be with him. I will always love him because he loved me first. And you again praise Jesus. And the third Sunday, you're praising Jesus. And someone looked at you and said, He is doing it all the time. They're doing it all the time. That means he is motivated not with their soul and not with their feelings. That person is motivated by the sacrifice of Jesus. 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 Because that is the reason of our worship to God.